Hello, my name is Sumu Walai and I am a student from Paradise English Language School. Now I am ready to answer some exciting questions. Do you usually exercise? Yes, I do. What sport do you play? I like playing tennis. How often do you exercise? I exercise on holidays. When did you start doing exercise? I started to do exercise when I am 10. Is there anyone who does exercise with you? My dad and I do exercise together. What benefits can you get from exercising? We can make our bones stronger and healthier. Where do you exercise? I exercise at home. Why do you exercise? I exercise to make my bone and stronger and healthier. Do people in your country do much exercise? I don't know. What if people don't do enough exercise? They will be okay, but they will not be stronger or healthier. What is your favorite workout art? I like drawing. When did you see it? I saw it. Uh, I saw it when I am young. Where did you see it? I saw it near my house. Why do you like it? I like it because I like drawing. What is special about it? I don't know. Maybe I will know when I'm older. Do your friends like it too? Yes, they do. Do you want to be an artist? Yes, I want to be a drawer when I grow up. What quality does a person need to be an artist? A person needs to be smart, thoughtful, and creative to be an artist. How do children develop their talent for art? They will work hard for their art. What is your favorite cosmetic item? I don't have a favorite cosmetic item. When did you buy this? I bought it in 2019. How often do you use it? I use it when going on vacation. Is it expensive? Yes, it is. How important are cosmetics according to you? They are not important for me. Is it important to have a good looking appearance? It's not important for me, but maybe some girls do. Are cosmetics harmful? I don't think they are harmful. Do you think beauty products are a waste of money? Yes, they are a waste of money. How often do you eat out? Who do you go with? I don't go out in these days. What restaurant do you usually visit? I usually visit to a restaurant called Seafood Island. What type of food do you enjoy to eat, Western or Asian? I like Asian food. How much do you usually pay when you eat out? At least 30,000 yen. Do you enjoy spicy food? Yes, I do. Are the surfers there friendly to you? Yes, they are friendly and helpful. Have you ever tried Italian food? Yes, I have tried it. Are you concerned about calories when eating out? Yes, I'm worried about being fat, but my mom said I'm thin. Are fast food restaurants like KFC or McDonald's famous in your country? KFC is famous in our country. Do you often drink alcohol when eating out? No, I never drink alcohol. Have you ever been in any traffic accident? Yes, I have. What happened? I burned my hand with hot boiling water. How did you feed them? I don't know because it was a long time ago. Who was involved in the accident? I don't know. Did the insurance company pay for repair service? No, they didn't. Did you need a lawyer? No, I didn't. Did you report the issue to the police? No, there were no enemy to report. Were you sent to the hospital after the accident? Yes, but the hospital is not big. Do you have a driving license? No, I don't, but my dad does. Why should people obey traffic regulation? People should obey them to save people. Which tourist attractions do you prefer when traveling? Historical places or natural landmarks? I prefer natural landmarks. What do you usually do when visiting historical places? I usually take photos of interesting things. 
Can you name some historical places you have visited? I have visited Bagan. What is your most favorite historical place? Why? It is Bagan because it is the only place that I visited. What is the most famous historical place in your country? It is should It is uh, Shri Shri What is special about it? It is special about Rupi Pri. Where is it located? It is located in Yangon. Should they get visit historical places instead of other places? Yes, they should. What type of museum is popular in your country? National Museum and Bujolzhen Museum are popular in my country. What is the most famous museum in your country? Bujolzhen Museum is famous in my country. What is special about it? It is special about Bujolzhen's childhood. How many times have you visited that museum? I have visited, I never visited, but I have heard about it. What do you usually do when visiting a museum? I usually take photos if taking photos is allowed. Are you allowed to take pictures there? I don't know. How did you feel after visiting there? I will be happy. What do you think is the importance of museum in history? Museums are important for history and people. What is your favorite hotel? Where is it located? My favorite hotel is near the beach. How do you know that hotel? I know that hotel while visiting Changdao Beach. Why do you choose to stay in that hotel? I choose to stay in that hotel to see the sea. Is it by the beach? Yes, it is. Does it attract many tourists? No. What type of room did you stay in and what facility did you get from that hotel? I stayed in a clean, tidy type of hotel and I can get seafood. What do you like about that hotel? I like how I can see the sea from far away. Are all the staff friendly and helpful? Yes, they're friendly and helpful. How much does this cost at night? I don't know. Do you recommend that hotel to your friends? Yes, I would love to. Do you like shopping? Yes, I do. What do you do? What do you usually shop for? I usually shop for odd stuff and. Where do you go shopping? I go shopping at Ocean Supermarket. Are there many shops in your neighborhood? Yes, there are. Do you spend much money on shopping? Yes, I do. Do you usually shop online? What items? I don't shop online. What is the difference between shopping online and offline? Offline shopping means you can try on some clothes before you buy them and online shopping means for someone who is tired and cannot go to the shop so they order them online. Do you like visiting natural places? Yes, I do. What is the most impressive natural scenery you have ever seen? I have seen the most beautiful waterfall. When did you see it? I saw it when I was eight. Who went with you? I went there with my family. What is special about it? It is special about the water is clear and there were go fishes in the lake. How has it changed recently? Nothing changed. What is the next national scenery you would like to visit? I would like to visit to a beautiful forest. What can people get from visiting nature places? They will get peace and quiet. What are some famous natural attractions in your country? Inland Lake is famous in my country. What kind of electronic media is popular in your country? Phones and TV are famous in my country. What is your favorite kind? I like Samsung phone. Why do you like it? I like it because I can use Google Map and I can play games. How often do you use to that kind of electronic media? I use it every day. What is interesting about it? It is interesting about teaching online. 
Is it easy to use? It is really easy to use. Do your family like that electronic media too? Yes, they do. They enjoy it very much. How has media changed recently? In the future, there will be more types of phone. What is your desired job? I want to be a baker. Is that a demanding job? Yes, it is. What challenge do you have when doing that job? I had to learn how to bake and I had to memorize all the ingredients. Is it hard to make your dream come true? Yes, of course. Why do you choose that job? I choose that job to bake cakes, decorate them and serve them to people. What requirements and characteristics do you need to do that job? I need to learn how to bake and I need to know how to decorate them. Does the job have something to do with your major at university? No, it has nothing to do with major at university. What does society think about your job? I don't know. Do you make much money with that job? Yes, I will make a lot of money. Have you ever thought of leaving your job? No, I haven't. What project did you work on? I work on a math project. Was that an indoor or outdoor project? It is an indoor project. Who was involved in the project? There were my sister and students in the project. What did you do? I had to solve the equation. Was it a successful project? Yes, it was. Who was your advisory teacher? It was my math teacher. What did you learn after the project? I learned about solving the equations. Did you like your partners? Yes, I do. What did you get after the project? I didn't get anything, but my teacher rated us. I got 8 out of 10. Okay, that is the end of the questions. Thank you very much. Thank you.